Hello, everyone. Today, we are cooking in our PJs. I'm Bridget Harrison, and today's menu is going to be crock pot right here. And I'm going to turn it around so you guys can see crock pot little smoky potato soup. Now, this is something that I found just by chance that I didn't have any. I wanted to throw some meat along with uh, some potato soup. And I'm like, what do I have on hand? Seem to always have those little smokies on hand that you use for cocktails and uh, make the little weeniers. So this is what we're going to be using. These little cocktail sausages. We are going to need one package of those. You're going to need three cups of chicken broth, which is about one carton. You'll need one cup of heavy cream, this is or heavy whipping cream, some salt. You're going to need a little bit of onions, some carrots, um, corn, a can of corn, one can, um, and we're only going to use half of that can of corn. Some minced garlic, some cheddar cheese, and that is basically all your ingredients for today. Now. Oh, and I'm sorry, the potatoes. You need four to five potatoes in cubes. Now, I'm gonna show you a shortcut that I do when I don't have any potatoes on hand or I don't feel like you know chopping or dicing them up. What I'll end up doing is buying some potatoes O'Brien. Now, this already has the onions in it and some peppers. I'm not gonna add any carrots today, but in the original recipe, you'll want to use some carrots if you please, if you wish. Um, but I'm just going to use some potatoes of rye. So let's get started. All right. So let me turn you around here. I'm sorry the kitchen is a mess, but like I said, this is unedited video. Edit. Ugh, sorry, unedited videos. Um, people seem to prefer them best because you know when you make a mistake, you do it live on camera. Everyone makes mistakes and we learn from it. Sometimes those mistakes can end up tasting really good. So uh, don't doubt yourself. Try it out sometime. So what we're going to start with is we are going to put in our potatoes O'Brien. Okay, now this recipe here is actually only going to take about four hours to cook. Um, so it's not a very long recipe, so I would recommend cooking it on low if you're going to be longer and out. Okay, hold on my hair. Oh, no, you know what? I didn't even see, didn't have this over here. So you can see the crock pot. There you go. Don't mind the dishes in the sink. I actually, our dishwasher broke, and our dish repairman, dishwasher repairman, will be in today, um, later in the day. Um, they couldn't fit me in till about four o'clock, so you're gonna have to see some dishes in the sink. Live video. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm sorry, I actually do have a bra on, so. Someone mentioned, could you please not do these without a bra on? And I do have one. I'm, you know, right here. Sorry if that seemed to offend anyone. I'm sorry, but I do, I do actually wear a bra. I would not do a live video without one. All right. So we got our potatoes in. Then, like I said, you would after you would add your potatoes, and since I'm using potatoes O'Brien, I'm actually going to skip the next step. But if you use regular potatoes, you would just throw in your onions and your carrots. And then next, we're going to be adding our chicken broth. So, like I said, you can just use your carton here, and I'm actually gonna, just going to pour it completely in. Now, 
Now, if you're doing this with regular potatoes um, that you have diced yourself, you would do the potatoes and the chicken broth separately. And you would do that for about four hours. And at the last hour, you would add the rest of the ingredients. But since I'm using potatoes and brine, all this can go in together and cook on low for four hours. So we just added our chicken broth. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to, now you can cut up your little smokies if you want to make them, you know, diced, cut them in half if you want. To, to have like little bites, especially if you have children, you can do that. We actually like this, is, there's a lot in this package and I actually have two packages. So I'm just actually gonna stick them in like this. We cut them up with our forks or whatever. It's like having a big hunk of meat. So let's go ahead and open that up and throw that in. Now I do have, dogs they are since i don't sorry i do have animals since we don't have any uh children these are our fur babies and you will have to excuse me just here for a moment one of them wants in always when you're busy isn't it i mean kids fur babies they're basically the same and then of course as i get ready to get done to go over there they run away from the door <laughs> but you're just going to dump your a little smoky then. And handy dandy kitchen towel. Always need one when you're cooking. All righty. So you got your little smokies in. And now we're just going to add. Oops, sorry. We're just going to add in our cheddar cheese, our heavy cream, and some corn. So we're going to need, over here, sorry, a little unprepared today. I'm sorry about that. It was kind of a busy morning, but um, hey, I made it here for noon, at least. A cup of your heavy whipping cream. I got this one. Oh, see, what did that tell you? I'm a blonde if you can't tell. <laughs> Forgot to open up. Oh my goodness, I have no strength today. Well, I haven't been feeling the best either. So, oh, one of the reasons why I decided to do a potato soup because it is kind of a bland. Oh goodness, I started pouring it in there. See, mistakes live on camera. You need one cup. And it looks like that's going to take pretty much. Almost the whole carton of one pint, 16 fluid ounces. So almost all that. Dump that in. Now, when you're using the heavy whipping cream, make sure you cook it on low because you don't want to turn it on high. It will curdle. So make sure you're doing it on low. If you're using the potatoes, like I said, you can put in the heavy whipping cream at the last half hour of your cooking time. Okay. Oh, you know what I forgot to tell you? I think I'm going to add some garlic into this. So you can add some minced garlic if you like. Um, I only need probably about a tablespoon. So I'm going to add that in there. We like a lot of garlic. We are a family that loves garlic, so I might put a little bit more, which I did. <laughs> All right. You'll need two cups of the cheddar cheese and I am not going to measure it out, but I wanted to make sure that I told you guys the correct measurement, which is two cups of the cheddar cheese. 
The last ingredient that you'll add is a half can of corn. Stir here. Like I said, since I'm using the hash brown potatoes, um, I don't need to chop up any carrots or onions. It's already pretty much in here. It's got onions and peppers in the O'Brien mix. I just didn't add any carrots. All right. Give me one moment. I'll grab that can of corn. Alrighty. Sorry about that. I was, like I said, it was a really, really bad morning for me. I think I've got a better idea. Oh, you know what? I do have a better idea to get this off. How many of you have Pampered Chef? Do you guys remember the old Pampered Chef? This had a bottle opener, tab op and tab opener right here. Get a little close up of that. Yeah, right there. So soda pop, top, soda top, can opener or tab opener, and then can opener. I love this thing. I've saved my nails many a times. You just stick that little slot in there for the can, lift it up, and that's it. Now you will want to drain your corn. You don't need to add any more liquid to what you already have in here. Like I said, you're only going to use half of the can. This recipe makes it really good for easy for double batches. All righty. See, I have no strength. <laughs> when I'm sick, forget it. Everything goes out the window. Let's see. Just add half a can. Okay. Give that a stir. And then I'll show you here what it looks like in the crock pot. This is an easy way, especially when you don't have, um, like I said, uh, big chunks of meat or anything on hand, but you always seem to have those little smokies. Um, it can also be quite inexpensive to do this way as well, especially when you don't have any leftover meats. Um, you can use those little smokies, and I can find them normally at Aldi's, like a dollar twenty-nine for a pack. All right. Oh, you guys need a sneak peek, don't you? All right. So let's bring you over here. Voila. Woo! You got a little bit dizzy there. That's what it looks like. All mixed up. Now, like I said, since the heavy whipping cream is in there, you want to cook it on low. Low for four hours, if you do the way I do. If you put in, say, Regular potatoes that you, about four or five potatoes diced in here, you want to put your whipping cream towards the very end, about a half hour, and then finish baking for your bake, a uh, half hour into your baking, or at the end of your baking time, and cook it for four hours total. So what I'm going to do now is I'm using this Cuisinart 4-in-1 cooker. So I'm actually now going to... Turn it on. Okay, malfunctioning. Oh, there we go. I forgot. See, I'm still using this. I just recently, I was gifted this. I absolutely loved it. I needed it when our kitchen was going through a remodel. I couldn't use a stove. 
at all. So there was really hard to cook a meal for a family. This four in one actually had the brown and saute feature. So I was able to actually brown some ground meat in here and then continue cooking and use it as a skillet or as a slow cooker, which is what I'm going to do right now. This also for the four in one also has a steam feature. So if you wanted to actually steam some veggies, you could do it right here in this Cuisinart 4-in-1 multi-cooker. All right, so we are going to put our time on oh, low and add our time for four hours and start. That's all there is. So this is in your Cooking in Your PJ series. I hope you guys enjoyed this meal and add it to maybe your rotation. Again, if you find any recipes that you would like for me to try, go ahead and message me, send those recipes out. I'll give them a try and cook it right here live for you on Cooking in Your PJs. Now, of course, I'll always give you credit. So once again, this is Bridget Harrison, Cooking in Your PJs. Enjoy, have a great evening or day. <laughs>